Hey guys, this is Generic Person here, back with another video, and today I've yet again moved to another video content platform. So this isn't the first time I've moved to another platform for video content. I've wanted to try different platforms because of their uniqueness and also to escape YouTube's wrath of seemingly never-ending hostile policies. Initially, I thought Library Odyssey looked pretty promising. And I joined back in 2021 to watch some of my favorite content creators that were on the platform and even to post content myself. Maybe continuing what I did over at YouTube over on Odyssey. Now, I will admit to you, um, as a precursor to what I'm going to say, I was interested in crypto back then. And thus, the two main features that drew me to Odyssey were cryptocurrency and it's like of YouTube's negative content policies. Now, before we get any further, I'm no longer interested in crypto. Just want to get that out of the way. Unfortunately, however, as time passed, I've learned a few things. So, first off, cryptocurrency has significant downsides. Mostly volatility, where prices are ever-changing and they could just shoot up sky high at one point in time and then fall randomly the next day environmental concerns because of the immense amount of energy that they require well in order to mine it anyways let's not get started by transactions and the amount of scams that just are surrounding crypto and it's very crazy now that's not even going into the second point the second point however well, it's kind of in its name. Odyssey is an odyssey. Of alt-right and right-wing extremist ideology, however. See what I did there? <laughs> Anyways, either way, Odyssey isn't an ideal platform for me anymore because I just don't care, nor do I want to deal with cryptocurrency anymore, and neither do I want to be associated with the right-wing. I'm not an extremist. I'm not a conservative. I just want to be associated with guitars, music, and technology, and also audio processing as well. I just want to be a simple person, you know, not like some right-wing ideologist or whatever. That's not who I am. So, at this point, I've realized Odyssey isn't actually the platform for me, and now I want to stay far away from it. So what's next? Well, at the time of creating this video, I've deleted my Odyssey account and all of my content out of Odyssey, and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that coming. But who am I turning to next? What, am, what platform will I now turn to? Well, PeoTube. PeoTube interests me for one big reason. Federation. Federation enables users on different instances of a platform to communicate with each, with each other. For example, I can post something on Mastodon Instance A, while someone replies to me on Mastodon Instance B. In the case of PeoTube, which implements the Profile Activity Pub, the protocol that both Mastodon Instances, in this case, use to communicate with each other, a Mastodon user on Instance A can leave comments on my videos that I upload on PeoTube Instance C. Pretty cool, right? I mean, honestly, I believe Federation is a way to unlock truly decentralized interoperability between different parts of the web, allowing for a more seamless interaction between diverse groups of people across different platforms. And it's amazing to see what we can put together when trying to achieve this task. In fact, I'm quite fond of the output, and I would love to see it succeed. But for now, content creation is what this video is discussing, I don't want to make it too long. But anyways, um, while I would love to see the Fediverse grow and expand, let's get back to the main point. Now, what does this mean for me making content? At the very least, it means that I'm interested again. I might try to make some more videos that are more adventurous, like in my older videos if you've seen them on my YouTube channel. I'll also see if I can make tutorials on how to do this or how to do that in the most easiest way possible. In fact, I now have a selfie stick from my phone that double acts as a tripod, so now I can make videos without having to hold my phone in one hand while I'm trying to do something else with the other hand, like trying to insert a CD because I'm playing around with old tech again. And yes, I do film videos with my phone if I'm not screen recording. Perhaps I will dedicate some of my time towards producing more entertaining content for you guys. Now, before you get too excited, however, just know 
that I'm not making any guarantees that anything's going to happen or that I'll actually do anything. Once again, this could all end up with me not making any more content past this video. It all depends on what I want to do. Well, that's about it. I don't have much else to say, and this video is meant to be a pretty short video, even though it's like almost five and a half minutes long. But before we end the video, one more random fact. Well, believe it or not, I actually took the time to write a script for this video, and it isn't that long, but I'm actually surprised I did it. Either way, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe, and if you didn't, dislike it. And, well, hopefully I'll see you next time. See ya!